Composition. <coughs> a pen rapidly scrawls thoughts across the page, searching for a key which might unearth fragmented truth from some ancient relic as oblique as obscured passageways, perplexing like an obscured glance, an ambiguous glance, enfolded within a scented embrace. Not every choice is the right one, so scratch out any misguided text. Keep going. Renewal flows through ink, even if it is nothing but nonsense. A single word, endlessly echoing like a slurred mantra. Blind passion being the closest we get to clear sight. So, eyelids drooping, kiss the page, ever hopeful of what you might find within. Thanks. You can hear me okay? Yeah. Okay. In hindsight, the rage should have been obvious. After all the teasing and isolation, the disruption at home, the restlessness at school, see how well I avoided any blame by casting myself as a victim of circumstances. Not that I understood any of this at the time. After all, it is impossible to view anything with clear eyes as we experience it. Distance is required for that fable 2020 hindsight which leaves us muttering, if only I'd been braver, courage. That most difficult of virtues, far easier to ignore our nagging doubts than truly wrestle with them. Simpler to smile and pretend to be the kind of kid that would never smack another's head with a rock. Yeah. I pled ignorance as my self-defense. In the heat of the moment, I had forgotten the heavy object tucked away in my coat pocket, leaving me dumbfounded how an everyday winter vest could cause so much pain, only remembering later the rock in my pocket like a cocked gun waiting to be fired. And what of the aftermath? I'm told I was suspended, though. I have no recollection of it. My strongest memory is spending the remainder of the school day alone in a darkened classroom, drawing dirty pictures. If I'm truly honest with myself, and all this treasure 2020 clarity, I would admit just how tricky these questions are was it only a matter of time until all that pent-up aggression boiled over? Did I eagerly embrace an opportunity to let loose? Have I ever truly regretted any of it? As I said, in retrospect, it was all way too obvious. Wow. Set the scene. With newfound resolution, I cast aside poisonous attitudes of bitter resignation in favor of the possible. Not in the sense of settling, but instead open-ended potential, which flows from self-confidence built on a foundation of past mistakes, wrestled with, perhaps bettered, Perhaps not, but no longer saying the terms by which I define myself. Yes, growth is a never-ending process. The key is never losing sight of those sources of joy which allow for being kind of heart, open-minded, fully engaged, words flowing like music through me, from me, and mixing with that vibrant atmosphere which nurtures us all. Thank you. Wow.